No one knows you better than your pet. Mia is like literally my best friend. They're gonna show you love no matter how bad your day went. She snores like a grown man. When I get like nervous, they're here to calm me down. So I like my good luck charms. Oh, <laughs> Did you get that on camera? That's what I'm talking about. If Zeus could tweet, I feel like he would say a lot of good things about me. This is kind of gross, but I'm gonna share it anyway. What's up, y'all? Oh, <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Max Crosby, defensive end for the Las Vegas Raiders. These are my three dogs right here. Nobody knows me better than my pets, and today you guys are gonna get to meet them. This is my man Dirk right here. He loves to just chill, hang out in the backyard. He is one and a half. He would definitely be, I would say, probably a D tackle or a DN. Got a wide neck, big head. Brooklyn is two and a half. She's the, you know, the OG of the family. It's funny, she's the smallest one and the girl, and she's, you know, she's the alpha of the house. I would say she would probably be like a wide receiver, you know, a slot maybe. Super agile, super fast, never gets tired. Leo's the new one, he's about seven months, and Leo loves attention. He's the one that keeps you up at night sometimes. He's always running around, always messing with the dogs. He's awesome to have around. <laughs> hey, Leo, <laughs> Brooklyn, there, come here. It started with Brooklyn in Ypsilanti, Michigan. I was like, Rachel, come on, like, I'm having a bad day. Let's just go look at some dogs, blah, blah, blah. The second we got there, we saw baby Brooklyn. She was the cutest puppy ever. So we got Brooklyn, and then ever since then, we've been getting a dog um, every year. Brooklyn and Dirk, they were the first two together, so they're like in love with each other. They're, they're always attached. And then Leo was the third one, so we didn't really know how it was gonna go. And at first, there were some issues. You know, Leo just loves attention and is always up in your face, so the big one, you know, he, he definitely, you know, was a little bit irritated at first, but after a while, you know, they started getting along, and now it's like a big brother, little brother thing. <laughs> Leo just sits right in front of the camera. Leo. Brooklyn. Shake. Good girl. Watch me. Hey, stay. Stay. Right. Good girl. Good work, Brooklyn. Hey, no scratching. Brooklyn, come here. I love pit bulls. You know, I feel like they're definitely, um, they get a bad rap, you know, from people in the media and stuff like that. Personally, you know, I'm an underdog type of person and, you know, pit bulls are kind of the underdogs of, of dogs. So they're super protective and, you know, they're just awesome to have around. Playing for John Gruden is amazing. You know, he's everything you would want in a head coach. You know, he's a motivator. Conversations with him are just either about football, life, whatever it is. He's super positive and just brings crazy energy that I love. and. Um, Dirk is really liking the camera. You know, I would say, you know, Gruden definitely has some pit in him. He's a super good dude, super, you know, laid back at times, but when he needs to show off his, you know, flex a little bit, show off some muscle, he he's definitely has that pit in him. He'll snap on you a little bit. And that's what I think, you know, every coach needs. There's a few Dirk stories. We had this big boy. You're blocking the camera, buddy. Come here. You know, we, we try to get them in the pool. You know, we got a pool here now. And so we got all the dogs, you know, matching life jackets. And, and we put the life jacket on Dirk and he hardly can fit in it. And we, there's like a handle on the top and I lifted him up to put him in the water and he sunk right to the bottom. And I had to go out and bring him up to the top. So literally a life jacket couldn't support his weight, so. You know, Dirk, he's, uh, you know, he's my, he's my right hand man. He would probably say, you know, I got a great dad, you know, I got a great home. I get to live the life, he gets to eat food all day, he gets to sleep on the couch. Brooklyn, that's my little girl, you know, she was the original. Um, and I always protected her when she was little. She always sat on my lap and um, I think she would just definitely say she loves her dad. I always, always am there for her. When I walk in the door, she's the first one flying at me. Um, so I definitely have a sweet spot for Brooklyn, you know, being my only girl. Leo's a little, you know, he thinks he's a tough guy. You know, he's that type of attitude, but he's a softie at heart. You know, he sees me as an alpha, so he's always sitting under my feet. Like, no matter what I'm doing, if I'm on my phone, sitting at the table, he'll be under my feet. If I'm getting my hair cut in the house, He's literally sits under me. It's like, he feels protected around me for sure. And you know, I, we saved his life. You know, we, they found him in Houston with six of his other little siblings behind a dumpster. And we found him and now he lives in a beautiful home. He would probably say, I am super lucky because things were not looking good for a little while. And 
you know, he's just grateful. No matter what happens, you know, you come home and they're gonna show you love no matter how bad your day went. So um, they're the best, you know, they're always, always, always great. Thank y'all for coming by. Uh, you guys got to meet Dirk, Leo, and Brooklyn. As you can see, they're having a good time back here and Dirk's about to knock me over. Uh, appreciate y'all and that is all I got for y'all. Coming up next. I kind of thought that it would like make him, you know, less courageous to jump in the water, but you know, he stayed the same. He's just still like a courageous dog that just jumped right in the water after me. <laughs> Good boy, Zeus. What's up, guys? This is Leonard Williams. I play professional football. This is my big King Corso, Zeus, and welcome to Meet the Pets. Uh, I first got Zeus about three years ago, and uh, I've always loved big working breed type of dogs, and I found this breeder in Spain after I did a lot of research on what type of dog I wanted, and he seemed to be the best type of breeder for this dog, and Zeus is Spanish, but uh, you know, he, he learned English at eight weeks old, so. <laughs> King Corso I chose because I've always been into like working breed type of dogs like you know German Shepherds. He's a little tired right now. <laughs> Zeus was awesome as a puppy. His paws were basically the same size as they are now so he, he looked kind of funny as being a, a small puppy with like these huge floppy paws and uh, he looked like a little small like black bear cub kind of and uh, it's funny because like now everyone's kind of scared of him when they see him but as a puppy like everyone loved to like run up to him and like try to like pet him and stuff like that. Yeah so I decided on Zeus being his name just because Zeus was kind of the pick of the litter and uh, you know Zeus the Greek god is kind of the big dog of the gods. So. Yeah so my family's always been big into animals growing up. Uh, my mom's basically allowed anything to go here. Like we've always had a bunch of animals, but specifically dogs, our family like loves dogs. It's kind of nice to have that companionship, that friendship. Um, you know, sometimes when I come home from work, I want to just be greeted by like a, a friendly face and you know, he'll just jump on me when I come home and you know, give me hugs and stuff like that. So uh, it's nice to have a dog like, like Zeus around. One time he was a puppy, I think he was only like 12 weeks old at that point. I had him for like two or three weeks. And I like took him to like some people's house that I knew in Jersey and they have a big pool. I jumped in the pool and was swimming with these other little bulldogs that have floaties cause they couldn't swim either. And he somehow had enough confidence to like jump in the water cause he seen me in the water. I kind of thought that it would like make him, you know, less courageous to jump in the water, but you know, he stayed the same. He's just still like a courageous dog that just jumped right in the water after me. <laughs> so I only feed Zeus one type of treat and that's pepperoni. And uh, you know, pepperoni is one of the, the one snacks that he just really enjoys. Uh, there's a lot of snacks I try to give him sometimes that you know, he'll smell it and won't even take it. And uh, you know, pepperoni, he'll be foaming at the mouth, drooling a lot. You know, I, lo I love the way he looks when he comes up to me knowing that he's about to get a treat. It's almost like he has a big smile on his face. You know, Zeus is a hard dog to work with. Like I said, uh, he requires a lot. And uh, pepperoni is one of the only treats that he eats. So, you know, it's a big training tool for me uh, when I want to, you know, work with Zeus. Hey, big Zeus. You want a treat, boy? We worked on this. Let's go, Zeus. You smell it? No. Sit. Good boy. Shake. Good boy. Here you go. Oh, slobbery. Slobbery. Honestly, he's been fetching since he was, I didn't have to really teach him it. He just like always loves sticks and running and chewing on stuff. So uh, sometimes I still struggle getting the ball back or a stick back from him, but he always loves going to get it. He just doesn't always bring it back. <laughs> the reason why Zeus loves me as an owner is because uh, I don't mind getting dirty. You know, he's a big drooling dog. He gets dirty. He's out there in the mud all day. And, you know, I still embrace him with open arms every time I see him. And uh, he's a big boy. <laughs>
Yeah, so a little something that drives me crazy about Zeus is, uh, you know, I kind of spoiled him as a puppy. So now I have to, you know, work a little extra harder to uh, make sure that he's feeling okay when I leave him at the house for long periods of time. Uh, just because, you know, he loves that constant interaction with me. Um, I would definitely say Zeus is a social animal when it comes to uh, humans. You know, he, he loves, you know, being pet all day. He'll like go up to random strangers and lean on them and like expect them to pet him and stuff like that. And he also is okay around other small dogs because he's been raised with like French bulldogs and other, you know, small bulldogs. If Zeus could tweet, I feel like he would say a lot of good things about me. I feel like he would just love that I'm outdoorsy and, and dirty and will roll around on the ground with them. I feel like he would say, uh, you know, I love, you know, my dad, Leo, because he's not afraid to get dirty with me. <laughs> I love swimming with them. I think that's my favorite thing to do with them, going swimming. Um, even though I'm known as Big Cat, you know, I, I think Zeus may be the big dog in the house, but I'm the alpha dog of the house because, you know, he definitely respects me and uh, listens to me whenever it's time to, uh, you know, make sure he's paying attention. That's why we're best friends, huh, Zeus? Oh, drool in the pool now. Yeah, my advice for first time pet owners is uh, do your research. Um, you know, before you pick any type of animal or pet, uh, make sure you know what their needs are and how to care for them. You know, it's, it's nice to see a dog like this, um, you know, be by your side and all the good parts of it, but there's definitely a lot of hard parts and that goes for all dogs. You just have to make sure you know what, you know, how to care for them. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching Meet the Pets. Till next time, let's go. <laughs> Coming up next, Chubbs, if he's in trouble, he doesn't show it. Like he, could, he could go through the garbage and I see it. He's wagging his tail when he sees me. I'm like, <laughs> my man, you in trouble. What's up, big boy? What's up, big boy? Mamacita, senorita. Hey, what's up? I'm LaShawn Shady McCoy, running back. I play in the NFL. This right here is Chubbs, he's a boy. And this is Mama, she's a girl. Chubbs right here, he's a bully pit. And Mama, she is a Rottweiler. They both are two years old. She's two weeks older than he is. You always hear a bad rap about pit bulls. And I wanted to see if that's true. One of my good friends, we had a pit bull. Um, and the dog's temper was so great. I mean, so cool, so relaxed. It made me want to explore getting a pit bull. And then when I got Chubbs, his temperament was excellent. Very cool, very safe. He protects me and my family, but he also plays with the kids, the babies. And that actually proves me that the saying about pit bulls is definitely wrong. I got the name Chubbs because when I got him as a pup, he was so chubby. So it was like, hey, that'd be a cool name to have. But then Mama, actually my son gave it to her. He said, oh, she's a big mama. And that's her name now. They're very much like brother and sister. They've been clinically diagnosed with separation anxiety, so they cannot be away from each other. And when they're away from each other, they're hurting. We have a lot in common because one, I love people and they love people. I'm a big people person and they are too. My mom was in trouble. She gets real low and she's high and she's trying to give me the sad face. Like, I'm sorry. And Chubbs, if he's in trouble, he doesn't show it. Like, he could, he could go through the garbage and I see it. He's wagging his tail when he sees me. I'm like, <laughs> my man, you in trouble. I could be with, with him, petting him, and laying on him, and she'll come by, and she'll pull him away, and then she'll come get the attention. So mom has a couple tricks she uses. Not too many, but a couple. Retrieving stuff, she's really good at. Go get it, go get it. Good girl, mama. Yeah, mama, she's very disciplined, very smart. Chubbs is also. Come here, mama. Left paw, left paw, good girl. Right paw, right paw, right paw, good girl, yeah. That's my baby right there, she's smart. These two dogs, they're like my children. There's times where I have a bad game and they'll come lick me up and down and cheer some good times. Sometimes when I, when I get like nervous or um, anxious, they're here to calm me down. So like my good luck charms. I think Chels will be an office lineman. He sleeps a lot, eats a lot. He's very, very strong, big chest, big paws. I think Mama will be a quarterback. She's very intelligent. She's like the leader of the pack, so she's the smart one out of the bunch. My brother played in the NFL. He's six years older than I am. I remember watching him play, and I wanted to play. 
I signed up at five years old. I lied and said I was six to play. I've been playing ever since. My name, Shady, came from when I was a kid. My mom, she said she said I was a shady baby. And everybody like picked up on it. They ran with it. Teachers, classmates, coaches, and that became my name. This all the hard work I put in for all these years to end it like this, getting two back-to-back -back championships. I mean, it felt great. You know, I remember them days where I would have a great year and we wouldn't go to the playoffs. Or we'll be one, one game out, we didn't make it. Or we'll make it for one game and then we'll lose the first playoff game. So to enjoy it like this, man, and, and win back-to-back, -back, it means a lot. Oh, that was a great experience. It was a 17-year drought that they haven't been to the playoffs and we officially made it. All the people that came out to support us, it was amazing. Well, that's it. Uh, thanks so much for coming out. See my dogs, Chubbs and Mama, seeing my house, my home. Thank you so much. I'm with Sean McCoy, Thomas Williams. Let's take it easy. Coming up next. Emma would be a nose guard. Super lazy, but big and just stout. You know, plug up the nose. He'll be like Vince Wilford. Big Vince. Big Vince. What's up guys? I'm Jonathan Abram, safety for the Las Vegas Raiders. This is Ammo, and welcome to Meet the Pets. I ultimately chose Ammo because I, I knew I wanted a really big dog because I knew he was gonna be lazy, wasn't gonna really you know, jump around in the house because I did want a house dog. I was gonna get the big dog that looks like a big fluffy poodle, but I couldn't really find anyone and I didn't want to deal with the shedding. Um, for me, I was looking for you know a very big dog with a really great temperament, and that's what I ended up getting. His name kind of took it took his own name for itself. So you know, ammo, you know, sleek, you know, bullets, and they do damage because at first when I first got him, he wanted to chew on everything, literally everything. One thing he never chewed on, I think, is because he kind of knew he don't chew on shoes. Cause I'm I'm a sneakerhead. If ammo chewed up my shoes, I think ammo would have to leave. And I think he kind of knew that. So these are my shoes. These are my favorites. The UNSB, only 30 pair made. Ended up giving away a jersey just to get these. These are the Chicago Shooting Stars. It's a $3,500 shoe. Shoe was a gift to me as a birthday gift. One of my friends, because my friends know how serious I am about my shoes. And all of my family and my friends know, if you want to get me a gift for any holiday, just buy me shoes. You can never go wrong. I'm always happy. I'm more ecstatic over shoes than anything else. Ammo ultimately is my best friend. And I tell a lot of people, if you don't have a dog, you pretty much should get one, you know. Having ammo kind of basically made me understand when they say dogs are humans' best friends. They know when something's wrong. They know when you're sad. They know when you're happy. Every day, you know, no matter what happened, how the day went, ammo's gonna be the same. Ammo doesn't care, he's happy. Ammo's the exact same person as me. You know, he doesn't really bother anybody. He just kind of does his own thing, lives in his own little world. He's a foodie though, just like me. So I do two scoops, fish and sweet potatoes. Heat it up for one minute, a turkey patty. In my opinion, Ammo eats better than me. All down, all the way, stay. Ammo eat. I give it a minute tops, everything will be gone. Crazy story about Emma, like I told you, the man does not, he does not bark. So my best friend Jalen, we were at the house and me and him kind of got into like a little tussle. I kind of like, I was choking him so we was wrestling and he slammed me like by the kitchen table and Emma was across the room. I was just kind of paying him attention, just watching his demeanor. And I told Jalen, I'm like, hey, you might want to stop. I'm like, I think Emma was about to bite you. And he was like, Emma don't bite. Emma don't even bark. Emma stood up. Ammo beelined for him. Like I had to put, get between him and Ammo. Ammo literally came and just went to snapping. At that point, I knew he was gonna be a really great guard dog. But if Ammo had a Twitter, he'd probably tweet about me and probably, probably talk trash, honestly. You know, cause I pretty much annoy him like he annoys me. If he does something I don't like, I do something he doesn't like. So if Ammo could tweet, he would definitely talk noise about me. 
This is the pet challenge with me and Emma. Sit. Good boy. Down, down, Emma, down, down. Good boy. Stay. I'll be back, stay. Stay. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. So that's pretty much for the pet challenge. He doesn't do any more tricks. He hates to be treated like a pet. He prefers to be treated like a human. That's why he tries to get in the bed and sleep next to me at night. He snores like a grown man. <sighs> Legs spread wide open, just snoring. I'm like, bro, you gotta, you gotta stop. And then, you know, cause dogs can't control when they fluctuate, so. He will literally sit there and pass gas and look at you like, what, I didn't do nothing wrong. Sometimes like if he know it, like if it was loud, he'd get up and walk off and go lay down somewhere else. And I'm like, if you don't want to smell it, why do you think I want to smell it? Out of my teammates, hands down, and everybody knows this on my team, Ammo is the biggest dog. Ammo is the biggest animal. Max has this really big pit bull, but he's like bloated, you know? Ammo is just naturally big. If Ammo gets bloated, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of him. He's probably gonna be like 300 pounds. And I don't know what we gonna do with that, because then he's gonna be bigger than me. If Ammo plays sports, yeah, Ammo would be a nose guard. Super lazy, but big and just stout. You know, plug up the nose. He'll be like Vince Wilfork. That's just play a comparison. Big Vince. Big Vince. Top three DBs who I model myself after, um, in no particular order, Cam Chancellor. Um, the Honey Badger and Sean Taylor. Yeah, without a doubt. If I was stuck on the island with one current teammate, it'd be Keyshawn Nixon. Why? Because I know I wouldn't kill him. Anybody else, I'd probably kill and eat them. Me and him would probably figure out a way to get off the island. But like I said, if anybody else, I would probably just kill and eat them. Uh, what was it like playing for Dan Mullen? Kind of like playing for Nick Saban. Super structured, one way or the highway. But ultimately, I think that's what kind of gave me the edge that I have today and kind of ultimately helped me get to the NFL. The biggest difference between college and NFL, you do things on your time. If you don't work out in the off season, if you don't have any structure, you won't. You know, when you go to college, your days are structured out from, you know, cause like when you get to the NFL, you got guys who play for the Raiders, but they live in New York, Fort Lauderdale. And if, if they don't handle their business on their own, then it pretty much doesn't work. Um, for me, I mean, in the off season, I pretty much, I try to keep like a similar structure to the season. Um, make sure I'm getting up every morning around the same time. So every morning I get up around 6.37, work out. And then pretty much after that, um, I spend a lot of time at just the house. Um, I draw, I paint, um, I read. So just keeping myself busy. Um, I've been drawing and painting my whole life. Um, just something I kind of pick back up because with football, it can be a lot, you know? So just finding time to keep myself busy, you know, because the biggest thing that guys have in off season is time. And when you have time and money, it, it could be a bad combination. So yeah, no, just a couple stuff I just sit around and do. The paintings that I recently just done, by hand drew them. I started doing this big poster of jellyfish and I kind of made myself mad because I took my time and I done this red jellyfish and I ended up messing the tentacles up. And so I kind of got so upset that I just started just throwing paint on here. I was flustered. I love Elmo the most because he is stubborn, because he is who he is and he's not gonna change it. He doesn't care if I like it or dislike it. You know, if you know, we trying to both get through a, a doorway and I bump into him, he look at me like I done something wrong. You know, but at the end of the day, like I said, me and him are a lot alike. As you guys can see, Elmo's pretty done. The sun's beat him up today. Thank you guys for having me. Until next time.